Y254 Imagine Cancer refers to any one of a large number of diseases characterized by the development of abnormal cells that divide uncontrollably and have the ability to infiltrate and destroy normal body tissue. Cancer often has the ability to spread throughout the body. But here's a different story of one Kipruto Patrick, founder Modeshali Cancer Organization, who threw a purchase of a pink t-shirt themed Changing the World one step at a time is able to put smiles on many cancer patients. My name is Kipruto Patrick and I'm the founder of Modish Ali Cancer Organization. This organization we started the year 2018, June, and it was out of a motivational factor. Uh, we had this, uh, this pink t-shirt from Susan G. Komen Foundation, uh, United States Breast Cancer Foundation. And uh, this uh, pink t-shirt had the word that this pink t-shirt is changing the world one step at a time. And we are running, hoping that one day we are going to find a cure for breast cancer. So from there now, it motivated us because uh, from there we get to know stories of uh, many people who have been affected by cancer. And um, I found a friend whom we together started um, exchanging the ideas. And from there we came up with these ideas and started finding the logos uh, and the the logos and that we are going to use throughout the entire uh, work of the organization. Our mandate uh, from the, our slogan, Let's Maliza Cancer, we are doing anything possible to ensure that we achieve our goal. First of all, we are advocating for cancer patients' equality um, by providing some services that they don't need maybe uh, a lot of strength, like cancer palliative care, cancer counseling, cancer awareness uh, throughout the platform. We can be uh, our platform of Modishal Cancer Organization. We can be able to share the information that one or two people are going to get uh, like anything, any cancer. When we get uh, something dealing with cancer, like cervical cancer, we give in the information that's going to at least assist that person. The person can get that information, read it, understand it, and at some point, we even organize a specialist through our platform to talk to those patients that uh, have been maybe diagnosed with cancer. So that's what we mostly do. We had 350 persons affected by cancer at a group that we started, uh, the email group at WhatsApp. And the management of that was a bit uh, tricky. But uh, from there, we were able to at least get the stories of 50 persons and we were able to manage and assist them. Um, we assisted some, like five families, we assisted them in terms of finance. We raised the fund through this uh, Mondial Cancer Organization and they were able to at least uh, pay a little at the hospital. The Kenya Cancer Policy 2019-2030 provides a framework to comprehensively address cancer control in Kenya through the systematic implementation of evidence-based interventions for prevention, screening, timely diagnosis, treatment, survivorship, and palliative care, financing, monitoring, and research. There is this cancer policy of the year 2023-2027. It is advocating for all the stakeholders, the public, the private, and all the sectors the staff, uh, government, and non-governmental organization to at least join hands together to ensure that they uh, fight cancer uh, with all means. We should not only see the profit because uh, most of the private hospitals are well equipped with the machines and they are functional because um, they are receiving a lot of people. So what I would wish to recommend the government is to at least invest a lot in the public hospitals and at least uh, support these, uh, the initiative of all the organizations that are aiming towards uh, reducing the cancer cases and that are aiming to spread the cancer awareness because um, it is at the villages, it is everywhere. Now we cannot hide from it. 
even uh, if the government can formulate the statistics right now, the cancer cases uh, through what we have seen uh, is over 250,000 cases in Kenya alone. Uh, from the current figures of 69,000, uh, that one we cannot uh, account for because uh, most of the people are suffering. Mm -hmm. So we can adhere to the, to the policy of 2023-2027. Uh, it is clear from there. Most of the facilities in the country right now, the government, national government, is doing a, a good job in terms of allocating the funds and the machines and the, to these uh, public hospitals. But um, they, they are the specialists, the radiologists, people to operate those machines, the doctors, uh, they, are, they, are, they are not well known to those machines. And uh, most of these machines are not functioning in public hospitals. So you find uh, one hospital, maybe Nairobi, is the most functional hospital and you find it is receiving a lot of patients. So the state here is, uh, there is also poor documentation of cancer statistics because um, there, is no, there are no clear figures on how many persons have been affected. And most of these machines are not able to, or most of the cancers when they are at stage three to stage four, uh, most of these facilities that we have in the country cannot be able to at, to deal with the with the situation. So you find we are losing a lot of people uh, from stage three to stage four. The situation is difficult from what we have experienced. Even person cannot sustain the the, the strength of the disease for quite long. It becomes difficult to them. So the situation is not good. And some of the county hospitals, some of them, are, they are receiving power blackout, so the machines are not functional to 100% or even 60. They can they cannot be accorded. Even the the treatment also is quite expensive. Um, the, the 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 cancer supplements. You find a patient uh, is using this supplement like three or four bottles a week, and one bottle of the cancer supplement goes at around uh, 2,300. It was 2,300. Now it is standing at ar uh, around uh, 2,900. So uh, it is quite expensive. It is expensive. You find that this person is using almost 12,000 Kenya shillings per, per week to only buy the supplements. There is a chemotherapy. Uh, there is other things. The medical bill is quite rising. It's not easy. Every day we are having a lot of calls and we are directing them. So the person that we have uh, clearly directed them, uh, 50, 50 of them have been directed maybe towards uh, talking with them. Because at uh, this organization, what we normally do, we exchange the number from with the doctor. They speak from there and they give us the feedback. We follow up. We have seen uh, recently uh, there is this fight of uh, illicit bruise and this uh, alcohol is is a cancer so most of these uh, young generation they are getting lost to that so uh, the work that the government is doing in terms of finishing that I think uh, is okay so uh, and I would also wish uh, the people that we make those cups because we are doing also the marketing we are challenging them to at least um, invest and put more funds in this organization to at least come for them we are much available so we have the one for the deputy president his excellency and his excellency the president also uh, this is a very good uh, organization because if we support today we, we are still young we are still youth so if other youth saw this organization it has just um, achieved most of them will at least turn from uh, from being idle and we can exchange ideas. Yeah, we can create jobs because we are participating in a lot of events, even the environmental events, planting the trees, that's creating jobs. Finally, here's Patrick's advice. Cancer, if caught early, it can be uh, prevented. Cancer can be prevented. Most of the cancer cases can be prevented. Just for example, cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is as a result of uh, HPV. And HPV 
is um, something that can be, uh, if we can vaccinate the young women uh, from 14 years of age, you know, those, they are not going to catch the cervical cancer. Why? Uh, because uh, these cases, most of them, uh, maybe in arid and semi-arid areas, if I can explain through that, uh, there is a poor sanitation there. And uh, when you find there is a poor sanitation, most of the people there are uh, men, are carriers of the, of the hepatitis. And the hepatitis 13 and hepatitis 16 are the carrier features for the HPV. And now you find these um, areas, they are still practicing the traditional, maybe the FGM, they are still practicing early marriages. So if we, as the community, we can at least uh, come up with a key value to prevent and to at least uh, give ourselves a chance of saying no to some of the cultural uh, cultural uh, event that you are used to be practicing some years back. Another thing is the lifestyle. Lifestyle has changed a lot. Where most of the people have copied the modern way of lifestyle. Uh, like colorectal cancer cases are expected to rise uh, for the people who are uh, 20 years of age to 50 years. Uh, people below 50 years of age are expected to have more cases of uh, colorectal cancer. And that is as a result of coping the modern Western ways of uh, doing things, of which um, it, has, it has really uh, elapsed. Uh, we cannot be in position to, to at least uh, control it. So um, the, the intake, what we take on a daily basis is, is what is going to determine what we are going to get uh, tomorrow. Today we inject ourselves uh, with a certain drugs, like the even the alcohol. Alcohol um, is another factor that it is staring to this um, cancer. It is a it is a figure that has make uh, all these uh, cancer cases rise. So uh, from there, the smoking, cigarette, the the mirror, also they are causing a lot of cancers. We might not see the situation right now. But in the next 10 or 5 years to come, it's going to create a very big uh, problem. It is going to be a catastrophe. So we can change whatever we are doing. And as the public also, we are advised that if it is going to be possible, at least even once a week, we can exercise. We can even run. Running is the best key. Uh, when we run even 5 kilometers or even 2 kilometers, at least you sweat, you are giving uh, uh, you're boosting your immunity towards fighting cancer, it helps a lot. And having a very good lifestyle, practicing safe sex, and living with good morals is going to help uh, in terms of uh, reducing the cancer cases right now. Why? Two five four. Imagine.